that's me again in a different country I'm in Australia just to give you a little view of what we put together and that generator which we use an LG front loader direct drive motor and we have a machinist to give us a really nice bracket to put this thing all together excellent machining now that hand here you see is actually from a different type of washing machine and I use that as a three phase or three out port of uh, 180 volt AC output now I'm going to show you the inside it's got a as you can see it's got a gearbox or a planetary system with 6.2 to 1 so when I'm spinning that at 1000 RPM I'm getting this thing here to spin at a uh, higher ratio that's uh, 6 points almost 7000 RPM sometimes and the generator is here the magnet spin inside this one just like I've been mentioning for a long time always your ratio and all your torque you you're never creating the horsepower or the torque to spin the same size when you're putting the brake on because when you're demanding it's like putting the brakes it's like driving your car with your emergency full blast on it and go for around the block so I just gave you a little view here and what we achieve still fighting with the controller but we have I've been working with the controller here as you can see of the washing machine at least I get a five window uh, five, five minute windows to run the motor at a thousand rpm with 1100 um, this is the rest of the controller the wiring I remove as much as possible out of it so I'm gonna make it run as you can see it's a LG motor there's no no mystery here's the controller with his garbage because it's got load sensor on it and all kinds of good stuff and off balance sensor but that's where the uh, planetary system is in that one that's a motor that's planetary system the motor became I added an extra wire and that gave me three output perfectly with a neutral which this is the neutral right here I added to the to the stator so I have 280 volts, 280 volts, 280 volts, all the same controller. If you put a three phase rectifier, um, I went over my limit on my voltmeter, which is a thousand volt DC, and it just blew them up. You know, as soon as the RPM goes up, that thing go way, way more than a thousand volts. I melt ball with it heating bulb, element, I melt everything with that thing. If people do not believe me, then get off your ass, find the parts, put it together and spin it. And do not put your finger on those, uh, when you have a rectifier, it will burn you. So I'm gonna set this thing on. As you see, you have to go through the cycle, set, spin only start and uh, we have to wait so I'm going to cut that off so I'm not using my battery and as soon as it starts spinning I will let you know he's got to do all kinds of little tricks so now we got this thing spinning it's going to climb up I'm going to give you a reading okay there we can see it 600 and it's going up the old boy we're up to 1100 rpm now i'm going to give you a reading from the back end there we go we have 4000 that thing goes way up to 7000 rpm it's a little noisy because of the drive it's a multiplier inside here 6.2 to 1 for each revolution of the uh, of the, 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 the outliners you get 6.2 times the revolution now 
dig another ribbing. Nine hearted. And it will run like this for five minutes. That's why I can do small tests on it for five minutes. This controller cannot allow me to change any setting since the setting is pre-programmed in those two little black chamber here which is a multi-function timer switch and it's totally, it's no sense why to change that, it doesn't make any difference. As you see, it actually looks like a little jet engine. And this one run on two sensors on it, not three. The RPM really gets in when there's a loss at the end of the cycle, so we have to stop and watch screaming, so I'll be back in a second. Now the thing is finally going to the high spinning. I'll give you another reading. See if I can get out of the light here. Oh, come on, give me something. There you go, 1,000. There and that's it. And that's the end of the cycle. Now your clothes should be all ring up by this time. Now there you go, now you can see my ugly face. Um, been here for five weeks, roughly, and I'm going home tonight. And uh, we achieve. We got different lead for for control. We we speak to some people from the university. They they helping us quite a bit actually. We had a very good conversation about an hour and a half ago through Skype, and um, they gave us some good lead. Uh, very very nice people. Um, I've been staying in this house here on the beach, which is wonderful. Um, it looked cool sometimes because here was the winter when I got here. The tail end of the winter. So now the temperature is raising up a little bit, so, uh, but uh, I had this place here to myself, so no distraction and uh, we went around and ran and ran for, for almost a month non-stopping to find parts to be able to put stuff together, uh, try to find control, we didn't have much success. Uh, now I get some better lead to go and I, get, I can actually buy the compartment and, and try some different thing. But everything sits, sits on the controller of those motors. And there again, is some controller run on, on, on DC, some run on EC, and some controller actually put impulse, which is a much, much more powerful system and runs on very low, small, low amount of currents. And uh, so, uh, I'm going back home and I'm going to keep on, on, on doing my stuff, I, you know, as all we have to do is find the proper controller who run those motors, those motors are unbelievably strong, the torque is unbelievable, as I get a few friends in Canada, they already know about it, and uh, the, uh, the controller is the magic, the magic uh, bullet to run those, those motors properly, the over unit of the motor is unbelievable. Um, it's too bad this controller I'm, I'm using, I cannot modify it, it's not modifiable, we can't, the company won't talk to us, uh, it's just like a big secret. I mean those motors have been out there for, I would say, 15, 20 years and nobody want to talk to us about those motors. So when you say we need some motor to do other, other purpose than the washing machine, uh, Everybody, everybody clamp up and, and we lose conversation. Heinehein is another company who clamp up on me, like you know, they try to help me. The person who's trying to help me is no longer in Heinehein. Uh, I will find, I know where it's working. Uh, we know that the company is working and uh, we will find.
find it. I, I know this gentleman seemed to know a whole lot more than what uh, Heinlein seemed to, to be putting out of there. So it's, it's just like everybody have, have their own new secret, but I mean, that's all patent. So I don't know why is the problem, why is the problem for people to purchase those motor and use it for something else in a bloody washing machine. I mean, this is ridiculous. We're living in a world of retard. You know, it's, it's literally retardation of the population because why are we using the other motor since those ones are so efficient? Oh yeah, that's right, it's going to use less current, less electricity, that's mean the government ain't going to make as much money. Well, you know what, they can go out and, and, and start working themselves out there instead of sitting in their office and making two, three hundred million dollars a year. You know, go out there and do some work like everybody else, do some roofing, dig some ditch, you know, do something with your life instead of sucking people's life and on their money, the little money they have in their pocket. I mean, like, you know, this, this is the bottom line. Um, I'm not stopping. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go forward with this thing. And, uh, I mean, like, you know, the only way it's going to stop me is, you know, is uh, a lucky bullet. And uh, at that point in time, I don't really care. Literally, I don't give a shit. Somebody has got to come up and put that out there and, and, and make sure this thing works and how easy it is. Those motors are super cheap. I mean, like, you know, from the factory, if it, if it are more than $35 directly from the manufacturer, I'd be surprised. The controller is probably another, you know, out of the factory, maybe a hundred dollars. So, I mean, like, you know, the shaft and the bearings, you know, just when it's going to production or whatever to make a real motor out of this thing, uh, it's really cheap. So, uh, I mean, everybody, you know, that's is, is doing, is trying to hide this problem, all they're doing, they're shooting their, they're cutting their nose to spike their face up because they're shooting yourself in the foot also because then they have to pay the high end hydro. The hydro doesn't want to seem to go down, it always goes up. It doesn't matter, we, we're using efficiency stove, efficiency hot water table, everything is high efficiency. The light is high efficiency, the TV is high efficiency, the stereo is high efficiency. And guess what? We've been paying more, 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 more as the year goes. So, how, what is those high efficiency product we're, we're working with? I guess they don't work, or the hydros become crank, the price is cranking up faster than the efficiency is going up. So, I mean, like right there, if anybody can't see, I mean, like, you know, I hate to see the word conspiracy, but then it's not a conspiracy anymore. I mean, the action is there. When it's an action, it's not a conspiracy, it's a fact. It's a fact because it's a recorded action. So I mean, like you know, everybody say, "Oh, this you conspiracy this and conspiracy that." Well, wake up, buddy, because you know it's not a conspiracy anymore. It's a fact. Look at your hydro bill. Just look at your hydro bill. Tell me that's a conspiracy. Oh, maybe a conspiracy, but the money comes out of your pocket every two months to pay your hydro bill, and every two months you go and pay that. You come out of there, you know, after you finish paying your bill, and you have tears in your eyes, and you're wondering if you should get a third job. Well, I mean, this is ridiculous. And, you, know, you know, grow some balls and say that enough is enough. That's all you got to do is grow some balls. Oh, yeah, that's right. We forgot about We don't have any fertilizer to grow ball anymore. People, the society, we live in a society of borderless. Literally. I mean, when you go to the kid goes in the hospital, you know, they don't take the, the foreskin out. They cut their balls off. That's what society is all about. You know, we create... You know, a, a society is stupid by brainwashing them with stupid TVs and computers. You know, everything has to be bling bling. Well, you know what? In the end of the day, if you cannot afford the bling bling, then you have a problem. So, I mean, here it is. So, I spent five weeks here full time, and, and no one, a lot of people would think I'm a holiday. I mean, it's a beautiful place. And I wish I would be on holiday because now I need a holiday from this holiday. And, uh, but uh, I'm not stopping. I don't care what it takes, I'm not stopping. I'm gonna go forward with this whole thing. Uh, the person here who ha who's helping me out, she's fantastic. She's a go-getter and she's, you know, she, she's just very, the nicest person I met in a long time. And uh, same thing with the people who helped me in Canada, same thing, I mean, like those guys, you know, those people, they really want something out there so people can use it and uh, you know we have a little bit of a you know up and down how we're going to put that out there and stuff like this and to me i have a very simple explanation throw it out there let the world sort it out 
I'm not going to start and wasting my time and wasting my energy to figure out how we're going to put that out. When it runs and it's working properly and people can use it, I'm just going to throw out there and let the wolf and I'll decide who is going to live and who is going to die. Because that's a, this is natural selection. And now, in a while, you know, the animal does it. And it's been working really well for, when you think about it. In a while, the animal don't have this problem. You know, the fittest survive and the weakest die. Well, I mean, the weakest, if they cannot, they're going to have to go to work and purchase for somebody. And, and that's all it is. But, like, you know, um, yeah, I mean, like, you know, it's, uh, it's getting very close. And hopefully I have enough friends out there or they can see this. And if something happens, they will continue to do it to his finish. Uh, but at the point in time, uh, I, I, you know, I still have a lot of tire kicking left uh, in me. And I'm going to keep on going and on going until I get this thing finished. And then I'll take a holiday. And uh, I will be uh, probably disappearing for at least a year. You know. Uh, try to find some new stuff out there I can kick, you know, I can kick around, you know, for, for a while. But uh, there it is, uh, folks, I, was dis I disappeared for a month and a half and that's what I've been doing. I had to set up my little lab a little bit, you know, a little workshop here so I can put things together. And uh, we did a pretty good job, you know, and the new machine is working really well. I put out, I melt uh, copper, copper rods, I melt that glass, I can melt this and running high amperage and high potential into tiny little wire melting glass and melting copper rod but the wire when I'm bringing the power to it doesn't heat up so uh, it's a lot of, lot of little things we really have to really think about it because it's, uh, it, it works in a different frequency, it works in a higher frequency, things work well uh, you know it's just you know we don't have to believe it what we've been using for the last 150 years. is either way to do it, much better way, much more economical and really easier to put together. So, so yeah, so there you go, folks. I mean, everybody wants some reading. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the numbers. They go way off of my meter can, can throw at it. I mean, like, you know, I get a thousand volt meters and, and it goes way up on DC and AC. Uh, it's, it's, it's very simple. Uh, sample rectifier, single phase rectifier, three phase rectifier, that's a 600 volt rectifier I got here. Uh, very easy to work, very easy to export, and you can make all kinds of power with that, you know, way over than what you put in. So there you go. Uh, I'm going home, and uh, hopefully uh, I'll have some time with uh, my daughter, and uh, I'll be back uh, on full time on this project. So hopefully you appreciate what I'm doing and see what I'm doing and nothing is a secret. Catch you later guys.